Okay. So, uh, I just found out that um, one of the students from my dance studio where I take dance lessons from uh, passed away over the holidays. Um, and it's unthinkable, kind of, because, I mean, I've danced with her, you know, a handful of times at group practices, you know, because we take private lessons and then group practices. Um, yeah, and then, you know, as little as like a month ago, we were in group class together and we were doing the whatever dance. I can't even think of it right now. Um, yeah, we're doing the dance. We got partnered up, you know, just seemed like just normal everyday stuff you never think about this stuff kind of happening and happening so suddenly and um i th i want to say that my first dance performance i want to say that sh the venue the the event that i did my first dance performance um i think i remember us were we were both backstage kind of like just hanging out getting ready waiting for our turn i want to say that she said that was her first dance performance too um yeah, and it was awesome, man, because, like, I watched, when you're at the dance studio, you see everybody kind of progressing around, you know, when you're in there, you'll see other people practicing their stuff, you know, like, especially leading up to an event, you'll see them, like, you kind of, like, know their kind of routine before they actually perform it, because, you know, you're around for the practices, and, or you're, you, if you're around, you'll float, like, float by each other, and you'll notice, and so, like, I, I remember her routine and it was fun and it was it was very serious and then it got f like goofy and like fun and I don't know man I, I I don't know how old she was and the situation her health you know maybe she had health problems but like I've always said this uh, when I was turning 30 I had a friend close to me die uh, when I was 30 when he was turning 30 I was 31 I had a friend of mine die and like from that point on I was always very adamant about like just living your life and not there's a lot of stuff yes there's a lot of problems and there's a lot of stuff to worry about but the alternative is not existing and not being able to you know change your situation or better your situation or learn something new or improve on yourself so instead of worrying all the things that are wrong and all the things that are going bad, you know, just, okay, well, what, what am I going to do today? What, what can I do to improve my situation? And like, again, dance classes or whatever, I mean, however old you are, like if I, not if I die, when I die, like I want to, I want it to be doing something like that, like challenging myself learning something new, trying to perform in front of people, something, man. That's, I mean, that's the way to go out. That's the way to live, right? Go out living, doing stuff. That's, it's, it's inspiring, dude. Like, damn it, dude. It's new, it's the new year. I mean, it's January 1st. I just made my video earlier today, but just, yeah, man. It's going to be a good year, and it's sad. It really is sad, you know, that stuff like this happens. It's I don't want to sound cold, but it's part of life. And either you learn something from it and you use it to inspire you to be someone better and do something better for yourself or for others, you know, or you just forget about it and don't and just leave it on the wayside. But... We'll see. I mean, yeah, that's all. I don't know what else to say. It's just, just you know, it's constant. These are these kind of reminders in life, as as difficult and sad as they are, they're they're really beautiful. It's a really beautiful, like inspiring, motivating. Yeah, I mean, this should be good. It should be a good thing to just be like, man, dude, my like well, life is worth it, and just treasure it and. Yeah, treasure it. Yeah, that's it. Have a good one, guys.